Scott Meltdown, and today I'm joined by... Hi, this is Sean with Pulse. And I'm James. Dragonfly is a killer album. It's been out since August. How pleased are you with it so far with the feedback and that? Very yeah, happy. Yeah. Happy. Yeah? Okay, sure. then, so if one, one of the songs from the album could appear on a TV show or a film, which one would you choose? Um, it's a great question. <laughs> It depends on the type of uh, type of uh, movie it is. Like, mm-hmm. there's certain aspects. Like, if you're like having like a chase scene or a fast driving thing, I think one of the hard hitting songs like uh, "Perfect Like You" would probably be like a good riff for that. If you uh, kind of had something more ambient going on, um, "Hollowed Two is like got some really cool ambient stuff to it. So it really depends on what the uh, you know part of the movie would be. You know, yeah. I would I would go with "Until the Night" for something that's high paced it's just got the energy like the tempo that drive. it's just pretty it's yeah. a pretty solid song oh cool. yeah that would be a good choice too so have you guys been out on the road in support of the album a little bit yeah, yeah so a bit what do you do hit the road do you do live feeds or anything like that uh we actually haven't recently we did way back a long time ago but it would just Trying to catch up to technology, <laughs> you know. But, yeah, like uh, it's something we definitely are going to try to consider doing. We've talked about it a few times, just haven't made the the commitment to do it all the way yet. So, so can you tell me about the different formats of the album? Is it just on digital and CD? Have you got it on, have you got it on vinyl? No vinyl. We have digital and we have CD hard copy versions that we have at shows. Um, I mean, nobody really buys CDs anymore, but people like to have them at shows, something tangible, you know? So yeah. we did a short run of those. Um, but yeah, no vinyl. That is another thing we've been looking into because I know it's kind of catching back on. Definitely. Yeah. It's coming back in a big way, man. Absolutely. Of course, I, I love, love all the streaming services too. So Yeah, cool. I love the album artwork. It's really eye-catching. Um, do you have that framed around your home? I mean, we've got, we've got the artwork... I mean, as far as like banners and things like that, we do have some of that, but uh, yeah. Cool. Okay. So what's been the most memorable show you've played so far then? So in recent history, it was probably Rocklahoma. That was a, that was a great show. It's a massive festival over there, isn't it? Oh yeah. 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 I've heard about it. Man. Like a hundred thousand people. I mean, it's, it's wow. big. And yeah. just being in, in the company and in the, you know, presence of some of the big acts like corn and um you know shine down shine down three yeah. days grace yeah very Brilliant. cool yeah i've heard all about that man okay then so if you could choose three bands to go on tour with any bands who would you have with you <laughs> okay so i had to oh, go, go ahead you go first all right I'll go oh, first. okay <laughs> first is stone sour that would be one um and that's actually, we have a little side project we're doing with that. But um, Stone Sour, for me, the other would be Blocktober and probably a Three Days Grace. That would be my three. But you go ahead, James, too. <laughs> um, so one of the bands I'd love to tour with would be Nothing More, um, Breaking Benjamin, and probably Shine Down or Three Days Grace. Either one of those would be uh, super awesome tour package awesome okay so have you ever thought about getting over the pond uh, getting into europe i would love to yeah if it if it becomes an option we would jump on the chance for sure um as of now we don't have immediate plans but that is definitely something we would consider doing as soon as we were able to awesome yeah okay so if is there a song written by someone else that you wish you'd written <laughs> there's a song that i really like by another like smaller band uh called derailed okay. and they are at uh, st louis it's called anthem and we've actually performed it with them live several times but it's a really great like crowd moving song um cool. kind of sing along and anthem hence the name so but yeah like yeah. that's an amazing song i wish we were yeah we thought about we're friends with all of them and we thought about asking them if we could uh incorporate it and play it real regular because every uh-huh. time we played it it's been on a show with them and we've done it as a collaboration cool 
Oh yeah, sounds good. Cool. Videos of it on YouTube, and it's like it's always fun. And I'm gonna check it out, mate. We'll do definitely. Right. <laughs> what do you say has been your biggest accomplishment with Pulse so far? Um, I think if you look at our time and longevity, that's pretty big deal. Finding people that can tolerate each other for a decade, and <laughs> that was know, what I was gonna say. <laughs> we haven't we haven't killed each other yet, so that's yeah, the number yeah. one accomplishment. <laughs> no, I mean we've put out three solid albums. We have like. 32 songs full length album three full length albums mm -hmm. so that's pretty like good as far as staying power you know what i mean like we're not here and then gone and so we'll we'll continue to do it even if we don't ever find commercial success and like in you know mainstream rock we mm -hmm. have enough of a following we have enough inside of us that we want to communicate to people that we'll keep on putting out music so that's awesome Okay, then. So, can you tell me what are your two favorite albums of all time? <laughs> <laughs> I like every all man. My, my music collection would blow your mind. Like it's so weird and eclectic. But yeah. like, like I'll listen to Guar, Scum Dogs of the Universe. That's in my top probably three or four. And then I'll put on Counting Crows, August, and everything after. So like, it just runs the gambit for me. <laughs> oh. Yeah, I love a bit of Guar. <laughs> what about you, Jay? Genius. Yeah. What would you say, James? Man, I mean, I guess you can go back to like some of my uh, young days where I was, I'd have to pick like Master of Puppets and Rust in Peace. Yeah. Um, Good choice. Good choice, man. Then yeah. it kind of changed over the years, you know? So, um, I don't know if I had one I'd pick right now. Like, there's so many great albums. But if I had to go probably from historical, those would be two that I wore out multiple times. Awesome. Okay, so going back to the present album, um, have, are you doing any more video releases, singles, or anything? Um, we are going to be working on a video for a song, I think. We talked about it doing Pendulum, but that may switch. Mm -hmm. um, but we're yeah, we're going to be putting a next uh, video out for the Dragonfly album probably in the next three or four months. That's yeah. the point. Okay. What was the last song you listened to then? The last song I listened to? Yeah. 30, 30, 150. <laughs> <laughs> That's ironic because it's literally 4, the 4, same. times. <laughs> <laughs> I literally was listening to it as we pulled into the garage. Yeah. Uh, Excellent. Okay, so can you tell me why we should check out Pulse? Why? Yeah. Um, because I feel like we write stuff that everyone can connect with. So no matter what you're into, like everything comes from the heart. Everything is connectable and relatable in some form or fashion. You know what I mean? So like if you ever feel in any kind of way, there's a song that we have that speaks to that. And I think that's important for music. Absolutely. Okay. So can you give me four words to describe Pulse? Eric, go ahead. Can you get on here? Yeah. Is that Fox? Who's Fox? Yeah. Our drummer. Fox. Eric. Hey, That's man, Eric Fox, our drummer. Near the end now. <laughs> can you give us four words then to describe Pulse? Is so he having technical issues? Is he might yeah. not have figured out his microphone yet. <laughs> All right, well, Hopefully he's got a. Uh, four words. Yeah, we've I've got entertaining, comedic, <laughs> engaging, and mm, exciting. Brilliant. Okay, man. So there's five questions now, either or either. So the first one festival or small intimate gig? Man, <laughs> they both have that's, pros. That's a tough one. That's first true. <laughs> I, I like a festival just because the atmosphere. Um, yeah, it, it's yeah. just there's so much going on. And there's so much to consume. It, it just both of them. Fun. Both of them, you can have just so much energy from the intimate setting where you're able to make eye contact mm -hmm. and see each other's expressions. Fox said his mic isn't working, but at the same time, festival. I mean, a lot of times people are 
they're really there just to enjoy the whole festival, all the bands. Yeah. It's, it's both situations are very engaging. Awesome. Okay. Beer or pizza? Uh, Beer and pizza? Beer or pizza? (laughs) Yes. Yes. Yeah. (laughs) All right. Next one. Final or digital? Mm. Man. I like vinyl, but digital is just so convenient. It you is. know what I mean? Like, it's hard. Say the same. You can't, you can't hop in your car and throw on a record. You know what I mean? <laughs> like, yeah. It, and driving, driving is a big, that, that's when I listen to a lot of music. And all my, all my stuff <laughs> right here, you know? It's just yeah, a, man. Yeah, I'm with you. I can connect it to whatever device I want in the house uh-huh. and just start blasting the music. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Saint or Sinner? Center. <laughs> yeah, probably center. <laughs> Great. And the last one, yeah. Who would you rather be stuck in a lift with, Joe Biden or Kermit the Frog? Kermit the Frog. <laughs> Kermit the Frog? <laughs> <laughs> what was it for, Trump or Joe Biden? No. Well, you could do Biden. Trump or Joe Biden. I mean, which one, if you, if you want. No. No, <laughs> Kermit the Frog, I'm going to go with that too then. <laughs> <laughs> Do you have any final words for your fans, our viewers, and listeners? Like, I'd say thanks for the support that they've been giving us, and you know, it's been it's been great. Yeah, cool. we appreciate all of the people who listen to our music. Anybody who we've met at shows, all the other bands we've played with, all the stations that have interviewed us, and all the stations that have played us. Like, I mean, it's it's always a group effort. We don't do anything if it was just us in a room making music no one would ever hear it so without you know yeah. guys like you and you know the, the the people that put it all together and get it out to the world that makes a difference man i appreciate you for that
guess I should have let you in But don't you ever say I just walked away I will always want you I came in like a rain, I came by